This is an approximately $13 million project. It's about 50-50 between federal funding and state funding. We want City of Tulsa residents to know exactly what to expect whenever they go through that DDI or Diverging Diamond Interchange for the very first time. The Diverging Diamond will be a brand new experience for all of us and it'll just take a little bit of time as we learn how to navigate this new interchange. At the very end of the day, it's going to really cut down on the number of interactions that cars have with each other and that cars have with pedestrians. A Diverging Diamond Interchange, it's a relatively new kind of interchange, but what it does is it takes traffic either over or under a highway or expressway. It'll take that traffic on the opposite side of the road as usual. So with drivers on Memorial, when they go underneath 169 or the Creek Turnpike, they'll be traveling on the left side of the roadway. And then after the interchange, they'll go back over to the right side of the roadway. Before the project, there was a lot of congestion, a lot of confusion about when to turn left to get onto the on-ramps to the turnpike. And so we had a high rate of crashes every year. We have about 47,000 cars going through that intersection right now. And we have about 134 accidents per year at that interchange. Currently in Oklahoma, we only have one operating diverging diamond that opened about four years ago in Elk City on I-40. Tulsa's will be the second when it is completed, and we're currently constructing another one in Goldsby. I think safety is one of the most key concerns here. DDIs across the, the country reduce those collisions by about a third. They also just increase safety through the corridor for the pedestrians as well, so pedestrians and cars aren't having points of conflict near as often. It also increases efficiency by about a third as well, so we're able to move more cars through basically the same intersection at a quicker pace. I think it's important that Tulsa's realize that this has been a solution used in other communities. It's just new to Tulsa, so it will take some learning, but I think once people exercise patience and caution, it'll become the normal way of getting through that corridor. If you're heading on Memorial toward 169 with Creek Turnpike, you'll see new overhead signage follow that for whichever way you want to go so if you want to get onto one of the highways or if you want to go straight through on Memorial use the signage to figure out what lane you need to be in it's still going to be left turn to get on left and a right turn getting on right what moving the traffic to the opposite side of the roadway temporarily does is it allows freer flowing movements both on and off the expressway when you're on the, that opposite side of the road if you're turning onto the highway or onto the turnpike it's a simple left turn across no traffic now we have a good solution in place it's going to be safer and more efficient for all of us. What we'll get out of this ODOT project is more efficiency through that intersection, more safety as people are going on to the highway on-ramps, and just better traffic flow through the corridor. I do want to say that I really appreciate everybody's patience. Thank you to everyone for your patience. It will get better once we get through it. For more information about the Diverging Diamond and other ODOT projects, visit the South Tulsa Roads page on our website, tulsacouncil.org.